Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 21 from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. Trouble chases sinners, while blessings reward the righteous. Family, that is such a short proverb, yet there is so much truth contained in it. It says there, trouble chases the sinners. Now, we know that the people out there who don't have God in their lives, that trouble chases them because they don't have the Lord protecting them from the things going on around them and the things going on around the world. in, in the world. By not having God in their lives, they've effectively opened a door in their lives for the devil to come in and wreak havoc and to cause trouble to follow them and chase them all the days of their lives. They're running from one problem to the next problem and they've got no foundation to stand on when the storms of life come their way and consequently they often fall, they end up depressed on and on pills and sometimes even committing suicide and as we've seen in the last year with COVID-19 and everything that's happened, the suicide rates are astronomically high at the moment and this is because People are living lives in sin, not being protected by the Lord, running from trouble to trouble in their lives. And then all of a sudden, this massive trouble of COVID-19 and lockdown and everything that's come with it comes into their lives and they don't know what to do. But as born again believers, as Christians, as children of God, we have the Lord in our lives and we have the Lord's protection to help us through these difficult times. Even though difficult times and storms and challenges and mountains and giants may come our way, we have the Lord to protect us, keep us and take Take us through that storm, over that mountain, and to help us to defeat those Goliaths in our lives. We can rely on the Lord as our strength because we've got him in our lives, family. And then, as it says there, blessings are the reward for the righteous. When we live righteously, when we walk righteous before the Lord, when we live a holy life and, and make the Lord a, our relationship with the Lord and the Lord's word a priority in our life, family, it says there, blessings will be our reward. We, we will be blessed in, our, in this life and in the life to come. We'll go from strength to strength, from glory to glory, from victory to victory if we live a righteous life. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, Seek first the kingdom of God and live righteously, and these things shall be added to you. All, all, and what I was speaking about before that was about all the needs that we have of a roof over our head and the clothes, on our back and the food in our stomachs, all these needs will be given to us when we choose to seek first the kingdom of God and live righteously. We will be blessed. We will be prosperous because blessing is a reward of for living a righteous life family the bible also says in joshua chapter 1 verse 8 that if we study basically if we study the word of god and we live according to the principles that it puts forth we will be blessed and prosper in everything that we do family living a righteous life living a holy life before the lord is it's it's important for us as christians not because it's what God wants for us or because it's our religious obligation to do it, but simply because when we do this, we are walking in the perfect will of God. And when we're walking in the perfect will of God, blessings become our reward. The blessings will come our way. It's in our own best interest to walk an upright, holy life before the Lord family. And the beautiful thing is for us as Christians, it's not as difficult as we think to do it. You see family, the Lord has given us his Holy Spirit living within us who gives us the ability to live a life walking in the fruit of the Spirit, to live a life walking upright before the Lord. He gives us the strength and the desire to do it, family. We just need to choose to submit to Him. We need to cry out to the Lord, cry out to the Holy Spirit and say, I'm struggling with this. Help me, help me to live an upright life before you so that I can do what is pleasing to you, Lord. And as we do what is pleasing to the Lord, the, the consequences of that is that we will reap the, the, the reward of the blessings that the Lord has for us. We will reap the a harvest of the Lord's promises in our lives as we continue to walk in His ways for our life, as we continue to apply His principles in our lives. And it's, it's not going to happen overnight, family. You can't expect it to happen just like this. It's a process that the Lord and the Holy Spirit takes us through. But if we ask him and trust on him and lean on him for the strength to do it family he will be able to do a work within us to grow us shape us mold us develop us and transform us to be the people that he's created us to be to do the things that he's called us to do to live an upright and holy life to do what is pleasing before him so that we can reap the reward of the blessings and all the promises that the lord has given us in his word so i want to encourage you to do that family cry cry out to the lord ask the lord ask the holy spirit within you to give you the strength and the desire to continue to grow in holiness, to continue to grow 
to walk upright before the Lord in a manner that's pleasing to Him, to continue to walk in the fruit of the Spirit and to renounce the fruit of the flesh from your life so that you can walk a life that is upright, pleasing and righteous before Him so that you can walk in the fullness of what He has for you in this life. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice that you've given us in your word. Lord, I pray for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that you will help do a work within us through your Holy Spirit living within us to grow us, shape us, mold us, develop us and transform us to be the people that you've created us to be, Lord. Help give us the desire to walk holy and upright before you and help do a work within us to enable us to walk holy and upright before you, Lord, so that we can do what is pleasing for you, so that we can do what you have for our lives, so that we can walk down the path that you have for our lives, to do what is pleasing for you, to be righteous, Lord, so that we can reap a harvest in this life and in the life to come of the blessings and the abundant life that you have for us. Not that we want the reward, Lord, but that we want to do it to please you because we know it's pleasing to you and we love you and adore you. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watch this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.